thank you all for being here. Uh, Dungok, Neil Deliguas, Carrie Lynn. My name is Carrie Lynn Paul, and I'm a Maliseet woman from Woodstock First Nation. I'm also the Indigenous teaching staff at the Cody Institute. We are here to share some really exciting news from the Cody Institute Circle of Abundance, an initiative aimed to amplify Indigenous women's voices. But first, we'd like to welcome you to Cody and to St. Francis Xavier University from wherever you're joining us from. The Cody Institute is part of St. of X University located in Antigonish, Nova Scotia. And here to welcome you on behalf of St. of X is Dr. Andy Haken, St. of X's University's 19th president and vice chancellor. Welcome President Haken. Thank you so much, Carrie Lynn. Um, and it's a pleasure to be part of today's announcement. And I'll begin by offering a territorial acknowledgement. A territorial acknowledgement involves making a statement, recognizing the traditional territory of the indigenous people who called the land home long before the arrival of settlers and who to this day still call it home. Such a statement may be viewed as an act of reconciliation between indigenous and non-indigenous people. We acknowledge that we are in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This territory is covered by the treaties of peace and friendship, which Mi'kmaq and Wallastokiyik Maliseet peoples first signed with the British crown in 1725. So thank you. On a personal note, I would like to offer my thanks and appreciation to all members of the Circle of Abundance and to all of the donors whose fantastic generosity are supporting the Cody Institute's work with Indigenous programming through the Circle of Abundance. I'm really excited to be here today and to celebrate and recognize the Circle of Abundance and to hear about Cody's plans for the future. And naturally, I want to learn more about this big announcement. So back to you, Carrie Lynn. Thank you, President Haken. Next, it's my honor to introduce you to Elder Jane Meter. She told us earlier she likes to be referred to as Jane. She is from the traditional lands of Unamagi, now known as Cape Breton, and resides in Member Two First Nation. Jane has a long career as a teacher of Mi'kmaq language and culture and is well respect, a well-respected knowledge keeper. Her expertise is helping to guide treaty education in Nova Scotia. Jane is also a St. of X graduate, both from the Bachelor of Education and the Masters of Education programs. She is a passionate part-time instructor in St. of X uh, MED programs, specializing in Indigenous education and culturally responsive pedagogy. Um, Jane also acted as the elder in residence for the St. of X Masters of Education and Masters of Adult Education summer programs um, this summer of 2020. She's here today to start us off in a good way by offering an opening prayer. Welcome, Jane. My traditional name is First Dawn Woman. I come from traditional lands of Unamagi. I am Mi'kmaq and I, uh, I am a citizen of the Wabanagi Confederacy. So I want to thank all of you today for, for allowing me and, and my gratitude goes out to you for allowing me to be part of, of today's um, celebrations. So I'll pray first in my language, Mi'kmaq, and then in, I will translate it for you. Yisulk. Gniska Mijina, Kugumijina, Asa Hawegi, Muwalulek, Uchidula Nawik, A Edamulek, at Koi Widen Giskuk, Siawia Bohan Muyek, Yes was good, was Kumkuchik, A Eganamag, Eganamahachi, a tigik of Skijinu, Iginamuyek and Sedwohan, Axal Sudi, Give me the Edahan, Amogiganodi, Glaman Gantesiak. This is your artisan. A kissy look at this name, only went to more the hunt. I wage you do this name, want to hold the Ula Osit Creator, grandfathers, grandmothers, and ancestors, we are grateful to you for this day. And we ask that you be with us today. 
We humbly ask for your assistance as we address and teach other people. Grant wisdom, love, respect, and strength to all of us so that we can continue to do our work together in a careful and proper manner in promoting Indigenous matters or concerns, especially when advancing and fostering peace on our mother, the earth. I'm Sidnogama, all my relations. Miigwech and Yawa, Olali. Lee Wynn Walalan, Elder Jane Meter. Um, thank you for the prayer. Uh, and thank you for saying hello in all those different languages. I'm sure you've made everyone feel welcome. I love hearing that. Uh, next, we have a coast to coast to coast collaborative video made by some of the Cody alumni, mentors, and their families. They have creatively figured out a way to connect us all from coast to coast to coast. The background music is the Mi'kmaq Honor Song. Thank everybody <laughs> for contributing to that video. So beautiful. Um, next, uh, our final welcome will be from Cody Institute's Eileen Elma, Director of Women and, Indig and Indigenous Programming at Cody Institute. Welcome, Eileen. Thank you so much, Carrie Lynn. And thank you also to Jane, to Andy, and to everybody else who's joined us today. On behalf of Gord Cunningham, who's the Executive Director of Cody Institute and the entire team, um, at St. FX. So I'm very delighted to welcome you to this special celebration to launch our Circle of Abundance Indigenous program. For the past several months, despite being in the middle of a pandemic, we've been very hard at work with amazing women leaders across the country who, like us, are passionate about honoring and, and recognizing the knowledge of Indigenous peoples, um, building their communities, and about finding ways to support their work as well as share their knowledge locally and globally. Cody's commitment to learning, to reconciliation, to reciprocity and respect with First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples and their communities spans more than 60 years and the extension work of our university well beyond that. We continue to grow and improve in that work over time. There have been many allies among us, including philanthropists who seek to do the same. This week I heard from Galina Angarova, who is the head of the organization Cultural Survivor, Survival. And she said this week in a webinar that the roots of giving from an indigenous perspective are found in gratitude, respect, relationship building, trust, and the sharing of abundance. And her words really struck with me. It is with this good intention that we begin a new direction, a new decade of our work together. My thanks to all of you 
for joining us on this journey and especially to the many, many indigenous women graduates, elders, mentors and advisors who have guided us in the right direction. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Eileen. The Circle of Abundance is an initiative aimed to amplify Indigenous women's leadership. It began with a group of 11 graduates and mentors from Cody's Indigenous Women's Programming and a generous gift from Hollywood couple Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. The goal was to plant a seed that would inspire others to join the Circle of Abundance and to raise $1 million for Indigenous programming. And with the guidance of these 11 inspiring women, we were able to reflect on and learn from our last decade of offering Indigenous programming and start to envision what we wanted for the next 10 years. And we continue to support, as we continue to support Indigenous leaders in their communities. The Circle of Abundance has successfully surpassed its goal of raising $1 million towards amplifying Indigenous women's leadership. <laughs> we are humbled by the efforts by so many of you to work to reach this remarkable achievement. It's so wonderful to see those of us on screen celebrating from their communities across the nation. We have Indigenous women graduates, mentors, elders, staff, and more on this call. Uh, another part of this uh, announcement is to reveal a new piece of artwork. We're so excited to use this opportunity to unveil the new Circle of Abundance artwork entitled Keepers. This custom painting was created by Mi'kmaq artist Tracy Metallic specifically for the Circle of Abundance and will stand as a visual representation of the Circle's work and goals. Tracy was born and raised on the shores of the Restigouche River and lives in her home community of Listigouj in the territory of Geskabegawagi. Tracy's career in painting was launched as a therapeutic outlet painting cartoon characters for her grandchildren. But when her brush touched the canvas, a bright spark was lit and she has been creating ever since. Her artwork reflects much of her own life's journey. We are so grateful that her journey is now also a part of our journey through this powerful artistic representation of the circle of abundance. Since we cannot move or since we cannot gather in person, we have prepared a celebration that will allow you to travel coast to coast to coast with us. We hope you will stay with us while we hear from Indigenous women across the country sharing messages of celebration, abundance, and gratitude. We will start in the East with Emma Stevens. She is from Eskazoni First Nation, the largest Indigenous community in Eastern Canada. In 2019, she created a, a cover of Blackbird by the Beatles in the Mi'kmaq language. Emma said that the Mi'kmaq lyrics made her feel hopeful and inspired to learn more about her indigenous language and to show non Mi'kmaq people its beauty. The song received recognition from songwriter Paul McCartney. This recording was taken in 2019 when we hosted a gathering of more than 100 indigenous, indigenous women leaders at Cody. Emma performed the song at the opening ceremony, which we will share with you now. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
so much Emma for sharing this beautiful song with us. Next, I would like to introduce uh, the video, a video by Kiera Dawn Colson. We'll travel north to meet her. She's a 2015 Iwakal graduate from Gwich'in Nation and Tso Sin Nation in Deneheda, now known as Yellowknife Northwest Territories. Kiera Dawn is an award-winning artist, cultural facilitator and motivational speaker. Her advocacy work focuses on Indigenous people's human rights, environmental protection, cultural preservation, Indigenous women's rights, MMIW, decolonization, harm reduction, and empowerment through art and culture. She is sharing a message of Hello. love and women's empowerment through a song she wrote as a tribute to her late mother called Your Love, Your love Forever. Ryan Reynolds. Uh, the circle of abundance is something that I support uh, because I believe that there's there's no stronger advocate for a community than those living within that community. Um, I believe in women. I believe in their power to build local economies. I believe in their uh, power to build resilient communities. Um, it's incredibly exciting to be working uh, with Indigenous leaders at Cody, uh, learning from their lived experiences and, of course, their their collective wisdom. Um, and it's a huge milestone for the Institute of, to have raised the kinds of funds that they've raised this year, in the year 2020 of all years, a million dollars, uh, with special thanks to Bill Gunn, uh, who ensured an amazing match contribution from the endowment of his aunt, uh, Janine DeVoe, uh, matching a gift uh, from my wife Blake and I, uh, as well as an additional $300,000 for a total of $500,000, which is just uh, completely mind-boggling. So, so happy and so privileged to be a part of this great group. Hello, everyone. Gwei. Um, my name is Bill Gunn. I'm pleased to be able to present my aunt, Janine DeVoe, and her foundation, and to be permitted to express our family's gratitude that we can contribute to the Circle of Abundance undertaking. I would like to thank the other financial contributors who we are glad have met our matching challenge and so pushed the Circle to such an encouraging start. Uh, the key to the early, this early success, I believe, and surely to the great things to come, is the wise guidance of strong, connected women leaders from all over the country, Wulalia. I've learned from Cody as an undergraduate at St. Evax, 
I've partnered with them in India and South Africa when I worked for CETA, the Canadian International Development Agency. And I followed closely since retiring and moving back, back next door to them. Uh, so my confidence level is high that they work in true partnership with the communities and organizations and individuals they engage with and thereby ensure that the knowledge, possibilities and ambitions of their partners are in the lead. This looks to be a very promising undertaking. Uh, glad to be a part of it and I look forward to the future with it. Thanks very much. Thanks so much, Ryan and Bill for your words. Um, we'd like to take the opportunity to express our sincere thanks to our donors, Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Bill Gunn and the Janine DeVoe Fund, uh, Education Equity Endowment Fund, the Donner Canadian Foundation, the Edwards Family Foundation, St. of X Chancellor John Peacock and his wife Adrian, and a big thank you to all the, oh sorry, I forgot some, the Sisters of St. Joseph, Catholic Women's League, Congregation of Sisters of Notre Dame, and a big thank you to all our contributors. You can, your contributions, big and small, help to get us past our $1 million goal. To Ryan, we'd like to say, along with your wife, uh, Blake, um, you contributed that initial funding that launched this campaign. By providing this generous support, it helped us showcase the many incredible Indigenous women leaders and the hard work and the heart work that they do in their communities. Ryan has been a hands-on supporter and has been actively learning and listening on this journey we are all on together. To Bill Gunn, he manages the Janine DeVoe Education Fund, Equity Endowment Fund on behalf of his aunt Janine DeVoe. The fund matched donations up to $500,000, ensuring that every dollar you contributed was doubled. We are so grateful for your generous contributions and for the long history that we have, that you have of supporting the work of Indigenous and African Nova Scotian communities through Cody and St. Avex. I would like to go on to talk about um, some of the work of our participants and our graduates. The graduate or the participants, graduates, mentors, and advisors of Cody's Indigenous Women's Programming work in a diverse range of areas, such as revitalizing Indigenous culture, mental health and suicide prevention, climate change and natural resource conservation, policy and governance, youth empowerment, research and education, decolonization, reconciliation anti-violence and more. Next, we'll travel west to see Lorelai Williams. She is an interior Salish, Coast Salish woman from Skati Nations, Isles, Vancouver, British Columbia. She is, 2000, she is a 2018 Iwaco graduate, a tireless advocate for MMIWG. Lorelai is a member of the Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women's Coalition a diverse group of more than 25 urban community and, pol and political advocacy groups and family members of missing and murdered indigenous women and girls. She previously worked as the women's coordinator for the Vancouver Aboriginal Policing Center, where she was challenged with bridging, building bridges and cultivating positive relationships between indigenous communities and police. In 2012, she founded the dance group, Butterflies in Spirit, which is comprised of family members of MMIWG. Lorelai has also been researching a project aimed at understanding how dance can be used as a healing practice for Indigenous survivors of violence, their families, and all those impacted by the MMIWG crisis. Her goal has always been to empower women, Indigenous women in her community, and raise awareness about her aunt Belinda Williams, who went missing in 1978, and her cousin, Tanya Holick, who was murdered in 1996. We will now watch a video of the Butterflies in Spirit dance group. For years, hundreds of Indigenous women murdered or missing in Canada, a haunting national disgrace with no solution in sight. I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I want to walk the highway. I want to walk the alleys and the streets. I want to walk the whole damn world. 
I wanna walk the hard way. I wanna walk the alleys and the streets. I wanna walk the whole damn world. I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? There's a crisis of missing and murdered Indigenous women in this country that has become a national tragedy. How I miss you so much I still can't believe that you're gone Feeling like a huge piece of me's been torn And ripped from me from my chest I can't breathe when I think about it I miss your smile, I miss your laugh I miss our trips on that powwow trail And now all I feel is that trail of tears That trail of fears for what could have gone wrong And hoping that you're safe I wanna go door to door My eyes are so sore from all the tears I drop my heart drops and every time I think about you and where you could be This is for the weight that I carry on my chest For the mothers and the families who get no rest And this is for the loved ones, the loved ones And the family, we want you close We wanna hold you close, we want you back the most And this is for my sisters who were stolen in the night For the ones who were hustling and fighting for their life It cuts to the soul, but it has me wondering Oh, where does she go? Oh, where does she go? I'm looking for my sister where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I wanna walk the highway. I wanna walk the alleys and the streets. I wanna walk the whole damn world. I wanna walk the highway. I wanna walk the alleys and the streets. I wanna walk the whole damn world. I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? Why no sense of urgency? Why no state emergency? Should have been called when it was two or three. Under two or thousand, yeah, you feel me? Government criminalize indigenous men and blame them and then say it's not high on our radar. How far will you let it slide? Just another form of genocide. That's right, I'm calling you out I know what this is all about You want the land, so now we stand We stand up, fist up Warrior song makes us strong We say no more We say no more No more stolen sisters No more stolen sisters I'm looking for my sister Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I'm looking for my sister where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I wanna walk the highway. I wanna walk the alleys and the streets. I wanna walk the whole damn world. I wanna walk the highway. I wanna walk the alleys and the streets. I wanna walk the whole damn world. I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? I'm looking for my sister. Where did she go? Where did she go? Why? Railway blockades, prominent and public calls for justice and demands for further investigation. Efforts to force a public inquiry have stalled. Either way, an inquiry might not answer why as many as 1,000. There is a crisis of missing and murdered indigenous women in this country that has become a national tragedy. A national disgrace with no solution in sight. Amazing work. Lorelai and the butterflies in spirit. Thank you so much for sharing the peril for this powerful message. I also want to thank the Vine Festival for uh, sharing the video content with us. So powerful. Next, I want to travel with you all to the West to hear the lovely vocals of Rhonda Head a 2018 Iwoko graduate and a 2020 Women in Leadership graduate. Rhonda hails from Opasquiac Cree Nation, located on Treaty 5 territory in Manitoba. She's a five-time International Classical Award winning artist and has performed in Carnegie Hall and the Lincoln Center in New York City, as well as with the Manitoba Opera Chorus and the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. Rhonda published her autobiography, Mezzo-Soprano, Memoirs of a Res Girl in 2018, 
In this moving work, she shares impacts of resi residential schools on her childhood and upbringing, as well as her journey through, the, through two brain tumors and hearing loss and the journey towards singing and performing again. Today, she is sharing her message of celebration and achievement through her performance of her song, Awaken. It's in our blood, our DNA. It bonds our past to date, ties to future ways. The connection is strong. Your ancestors would be so proud. It's time to wake up and be strong The time is now Don't be afraid We've had it all along Awaken, awaken, awaken Your ancestors would be so proud It's time to wake up and be strong. The time is now. Don't be afraid. We've had it all along. Awaken, awaken, awaken. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Your song lyrics convey a powerful and timely message. It's time to wake up and be strong. That time is now, don't be afraid. We've had it all along. So many of you are probably asking yourself, so what next? The Circle of Abundance fundraising has already allowed us to design, develop and offer free indigenous asset-based community-driven development workshops throughout fall 2020 and offer additional workshops in winter 2021. We've been able to provide scholarships to Indigenous peoples for all online CODI courses this fall and will continue to do this in 2021 and beyond. A key initiative, we will be designing and delivering a seven week online Indigenous women's leadership course for spring 2021. We will also continue to further improve our on-campus mentor-supported Indigenous women in community leadership flag, flagship program. Lastly, our goal has always been to reinvest in our alumni. And one way we see doing this is by partnering with them to offer shorter week-long leadership courses in their various territories. Of course, these and future initiatives will be created in consultation with a reference or advisory group 
comprised of Indigenous leaders from coast to coast to coast. You can always visit our website to apply for future programs and workshops, and it's never too late to donate. To get the latest updates, you can add yourself to our Circle of Abundance mailing list through our website at cody.stfx.ca. We are so honored that you have chosen to join us today. We are grateful for your support of our work, and we want to recognize you for all you do for your families, your communities, and your nations. Waliwin, Walalin, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.